excited about today's video. All right, you guys know how much I love to do crafts and projects for the kids, with the kids. With the kids is always a bonus because it's so fun to get them involved with things and spend time with them and see what we can create together. But that's why I'm so excited today to be partnering with Bubsy Co. And I get to show you guys one of their products, which is the Clay Hand and Footprint Keepsake Frame. Ellie and I had such a blast creating this. It was so much fun. So today we're gonna to show you how we made our Bubsy Co. keepsake frame. Okay, so what you need is your kit, which includes pretty much everything. The only other things you need are pictures to add to the frame, a mug to help get the clay into the corners, and the most important part, a sweet little baby. And this is Ellie. She is going to be the hand and footprint maker of this piece of art, aren't you? Yes. Okay, so the first step is to take both of these clay packages, open them up, mold them into a ball, and put it on a clean work surface, which hopefully it's clean enough. We have a toddler in the house, but I try my very best. All right, now we just need to knead this for three to five minutes. All right, now we're gonna take our frame, take the backing off, and we're gonna fill in the large part with the clay. Now, they said not to use too much pressure, so using the coffee mug is good. You kind of put it in there and then use the coffee mug to get it into the corners. And using too much pressure can cause it to crack, so you know you wanna be gentle, but make sure you get it to fill in the entire space. Making sure that this is in the corners is going to ensure that it's a nice, tight fit in the frame. So make sure you get it into those corners. All right, now for the most exciting part. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of lotion on Ellie's hand and on her foot just because the clay can be a little bit drying. So I'm gonna do that and then we are gonna get some adorable baby hand and footprints. Are you ready, Ellie Bell? Are you ready? All right. So if you're not happy with how your hand and footprints turned out, you can take it out, roll it again, put it back in, and do it again. But I love them because they're perfectly imperfect, and it is hard to get baby hands and feet print. However, I think it turned out great, and I'm so excited. So once you get your prints and you get baby all cleaned up, you just leave it to sit out for 48 hours while it completely dries. All right, I will see you guys in 48 hours once this dries. Now that this is dry and ready to go, it's pretty much just assembling it all back together. So, I have my two pictures, the double-sided tape, and the frame, and you know, obviously the clay part. So now we're just going to put the pictures on the frame with the double-sided tape, and put it all back together! All right, now that the pictures are in, we're gonna take the frame and there is a plastic protective 
sheet on the acrylic. So we're gonna take both of the plastic sheets off. All right, now we're gonna take this clear acrylic piece, put it on top of the white silhouette, like that with your pictures in it, and put it in the frame. We're gonna put it in the frame and then place the clay piece in it and assemble the entire thing. Oh my gosh, this turned out so cute, I love it. Also, if you need to tighten the screws on the back for the clips that go over the back to hold it together, you can do that. But otherwise, once you get it clipped in place, you are good to go. And you have a one of a kind little keepsake. Just remember how teeny tiny your baby's hands and feet were at one time. I love it, I can't wait to put this up in her room.